Hey guys, how's it going? First off, I want to just give some crazy props to uh, all of you that are really participating and throwing some prayers out and just helping other people and sharing your successes of what's going great, just kind of the highs and lows of the day. Um, you know, it could be anything. I think that um, I want to invite all of you to participate as much as you can, like I said, so it's not just you listening to me chat and do my whole video stuff, but that this is a community, a community of all of us that are fighting the good fight and working through all the challenges that we all face and just that, you know, as much as we can help each other, that's kind of my vision and desire for all of this is that it's about all of us and not about Jay. So I've said that before, but for some of those that are kind of new coming in, that's just something just to help you guys know about. And just, you know, again, that I'm, a, I suffer as well from four different mood disorder uh, disorders. And uh, so I'm right there with you. I'm, I struggle just like all of us do. And I have good days and bad days. And um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about, I think, something that's uh, a symptom. And again, I'm not driving, by the way. I'm just sitting in the car. So I know everybody, there was some concern, justifiably so, that I had my phone sitting there when I would record while I was driving. So. No more of that, so you don't have to worry. Um, but I think what happens a little bit is when we're struggling, we're in another place. And we're thinking about other things. And in many cases, we're just trying to survive. We're just trying to get through the day. Um, whatever the triggers are, those things that are causing you pain, um, you know, you may be just cycling through those over and over again, and you're going in a spiral and all this kind of nasty stuff. It could be flaring into massive anger and massive depression or massive anxiety or panic attacks or whatever the case is. Um, what happens in all of this is that we are not able to enjoy the moments of the present of what's going on. And... I think what's difficult is that, you know, if, if we can end up missing out on some things within our lives, within the people around us, because we are struggling. And I, t I'm saying this because I, I struggle some with, uh, with my kids that one of my, my, one of my triggers is the, uh, concern of the, the, I'm, I'm very, try to be a proactive dad. I love my kids to pieces. I've got a boy and a girl, a little four and three years old. I just love it. I mean, it's chaos and they fight all the time, but it's freaking awesome. And so for me, a lot of times I can, I'm very present, but I'm there and I'm like not there at the same time. And then I experience a lot of guilt later on because I was there, but I wasn't, or I'm so uncomfortable that maybe I'm not, I don't want to go sit on the ground and play with them or hang out with them. And I just, the guilt I feel is just massive. I just feel horrible about this. And I think that, you know, as I've been praying about this and thinking about it a lot, because I do, this is always something that I, I, I struggle with and I probably will continue, is what is truth here? What is really, from a spiritual perspective, what is God really saying about this in terms of when we struggle in our circumstances? And I think on one hand, we have to give ourselves a pass. I mean, we're, we're doing the best we can. All right. And God knows that. And even if the people do or don't know that, all that matters is we're, we're, we're giving it our best shot. And, you know, it's kind of, I think that fine line between making an excuse for it, but then trying to say, I've got it. It's real. It's present. I have these issues. I'm just trying to get through stuff. On the flip side of the coin, I think you want to make sure that you don't use it as a license to, you know, get so so deep into your symptoms where you're, you know, you're, you're almost having them overshadow what you do live in your life and you're letting them sort of control you or, or it absorbs yourself. So you're like inside of all of that. And that becomes who you are, which you're not, you're not defined by your illnesses. I've said that many times. So I think that the, the thing I would challenge us to, and I'm including myself in this because I really struggle with this is to give ourselves a pass, do us do the best, but be very mindful and think about the present and think about your life and just living with in, with intent. And this applies to everybody. This isn't just people with mood disorders. 
but it's something that I've been praying about a lot. And I've been thinking about a lot. And I think for any of those that have gone through things like divorce or, you know, death or other bad, you know, tough things in their lives, you know, you get a chance to like decide what you're going to do with those situations. I've had some people talk to me about abuse. It's just some really, really like gut wrenching, difficult, difficult things that people have gone through. And I think it's, it's, we, it's hard for us to remember that we have a choice now of how we want to deal with some of these situations and ultimately how we want to be present so that we are able to enjoy life despite having mood disorders and enjoy our time with the people around us and our loved ones and our kids. Because for me, you know, I don't want to miss out. Even if I've got all my issues, I don't want to miss out. I want to be able to be playing on the floor with my kids and be there. Not by in like cycling through some anxious thing that I'm worrying about that has absolutely nothing to do with my kids and I'm sitting there like as a drone. I don't want to do that. And I believe that I'm capable of not being in that mental gridlock state. Preferably, I think God can help me enjoy those moments of our lives. You know, we have enough to deal with when it gets really bad. But I think this is where we need to listen to truth and we need to really consider how our illness is not something that defines us, but ultimately it's a part of us, but that we can still live a life of rich experiences, fulfillment. And I would go out to say as low as we get, and I think when we actually get the nice stuff, I think we have the ability to appreciate it more. Because I think a lot of people live through their lives and they've they've never experienced enough pain to even know how good they have it. So I'm not saying it's awesome to have the crappy pain. It really sucks. But I do think that we're able to sit and appreciate the good. And that's when we need to be present. To say, dang, you know what? In my 30 days of going through my cycles of having bipolar, I know that there's going to be a period when I am seven to ten to three days or whatever it is I'm going to be in the bottom throughout I'm going to be dealing with anxiety throughout I'm going to be dealing with ADHD but ultimately there's a period where I'm going to be low but that's not the whole time and the more that I focus on those positive things it tends to lift me from the basement of the bottom of when I'm suffering the most and clearly God and Christ are the ones that can help lift me out of that in your faith. You know, some of them, you know, again, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I welcome anybody to the table. But, you know, what, from my experiences, my faith has been instrumental in helping me deal with my illness and my shortcomings and the challenges that I face as I deal with this stuff, which it gets beyond medication. It gets beyond counseling and therapy and stuff. And it gets into, like, this stuff that's, it's just warfare in your mind. I mean, you have to be able to make these choices and you can, and all of us can. And I believe it. And I've seen some people, some individuals in this group that are starting to make some of these choices. And I'm so proud of them. I mean, again, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. They're, they're, they're taking responsibility for their mental health. And they're saying, you know what, no matter how crappy I had it, no matter how horrible things have gone on to me, I, I want to make a, a, positive step in a direction of healing and to get to start to you know make some positive strides in moving forward and it's going to be hard but I think that you know again we are not defined by this stuff this is not our identity for me my identity is in Christ that he loves me no matter what whether I'm having a crappy day or a good day and you know what all we can do is do our best and I just pray at the end of the day that I just hope that my kids, their takeaway with me is I'm a father that loved them and that made them a priority whenever I possibly could and that I was present. And that's all I can ask for. God bless you all. Take care always.